All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Spyderco Rubicon here with me for a review. And as usual, we're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this guy. But first of all, Guillaume, thank you very much, buddy, to, because you sent this guy along uh, for a review. So yeah, appreciate that. So let's check out uh, the size of this uh, bad boy over here. Overall, it's gonna be around 7.5 inches uh, with a handle uh, 4.5 and 3.25 inch long blade. Let's see how this guy compares with some of his siblings. This is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and this is the Spyderco Para 3. Look at this, right in the middle, huh? And then we have another offering, same designer, Peter Carey. This is the Spyderco Magnitude, big, big boy right over there. Another Spyderco we have in the house, it's the Schmock. And this guy is just smaller than uh, these two. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, of course, let's do the uh, Ontario Rat number one right over here. And Ontario Rat, yeah, you guessed it, number two. So this is uh, also, again, in between these two offerings from Ontario. Um, and then what else you guys want to see? All right, I'm going to show you. This is a uh, Randy Doucette uh, metal head. And uh, bigger than that, of course. And this is the Curtis Knife F3. Again, right in between. You want to see something smaller than that? Sure. You have the Boker right over here. F3 Vox in the house. And another smaller. Look at this. You're getting the Koenig Knives Mini Goblin. And you want to see something smaller? Would you look at this? Would you look at the CRKT Ed Van Hoy lock with this cam stud kind of thing going on? Very, very cool. And let's just do another couple options since we have here. Uh, let's do this guy, which I really, really like, guys. This is the Reiki Knives to lay. Super cool. And yeah, another big boy. Shirogoro F3 and S in the house. So beautiful liner lock, uh, carbon fiber. So something in common with this guy. But uh, this is a different uh, animal because uh, it's designed by Peter Carey, right over here. And it's the Spyderco Rubicon. So uh, interesting knife for some aspects and some other are uh, a little bit of a letdown. But uh, let's analyze the look of this guy because uh, it looks good, I have to say. Uh, nice lines, nicely curved and sinuous lines. I, I, I get that. Um, you have, uh, look at this. You, you, you know what, where I'm getting, where I'm going. Um, but uh, let's check out the scales because look at that. This is 3D milled carbon fiber and polished and inlaid with this G10 pivot color in a way that you cannot tell that these are two different materials. You cannot tell, like if you're blindfolded, no way. The level of uh, polish and uh, machining is incredible. It's really, really good. The scales are the highlight of the knife 100%. Um, there's some nice chamfering going on over here. It's uh, a little bit uh, curved and then it's abrupt. Uh, it, it just goes like straight down like this. There's no inner chamfering going on. Uh, you have some internal skeletonization. Actually, you have some drilled holes on the inside. Yeah, yeah right there. You can see that. They're going to be useful to reduce the weight. Um, you have, uh, of course, a backspacer in G10, which is pretty sharp, if I, if I might, if I must say. Um, it's not uh, very pocket friendly, uh, but it's nice. I mean, it gives a, a nice uh, touch. It's there's nice matching uh, color with the pivot colors over here, so it looks good, but uh, it doesn't feel 100%.
You also have uh, uh, these pretty thick uh, titanium liners. They are full liners. They extend up to the end right over here and they're gonna confer some pretty sturdiness to the overall situation over here. I'm not really a fan of this pocket clip guys. Uh, first of all because of the holes going on. Six holes. Why? And second of all it's just the shape like that. It doesn't do for me. I mean yeah they, they shaped it nicely. I get it. It it, it get, gets the, the contouring, uh, the perimeter of the scales, yeah, but I think it's lazy. When they just bent a slab of steel or titanium, uh, it just gets lazy in my opinion. So I like, I'm more a fan of a 3D milled uh, pocket clip going on, but hey, not a biggie. Uh, you also have uh, some nice uh, T10 and T6 uh, Torx bit screws uh, in order for you to be able to disassemble this guy. Pretty straightforward, not, uh, not an issue uh, whatsoever. Uh, of course, uh, uh, you can see here there's no uh, lock face uh, insert. Uh, the scale is going to act as a lock bar stabilizer. You have an internal right over here, uh, lock, um, lock bar relief and uh, overall you have pretty flush hardware so it's not protruding, it's not distracting, you have this um, this pivot, it has like a dual tone finish, you see it's polished on the flat and uh, it's like a matte uh, finish on the recessed area so uh, and it's still it's a T10 I think uh, or T8 so it's still pretty pretty good. Um, there's no lanyard hole as you can see over here and um, the pocket clip is not uh, reversible it's uh, only tip up carry and uh, it's uh, um, it's just you cannot uh, put it on the other side. Uh, what I really am not a fan of on this guy is the lock bar relief because uh, you see it's like flush, there's no protruding part so I'm having a really hard time in catching this uh, lock over here. So you have some jimping going on but there's no way, you can, I mean you need to use the other hand and use my nail to disengage. It's very, very difficult to do this with one hand. I, I don't know what was going on, but this is a flaw for me. So you can still do it like that, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not ideal. The blade is actually nice. So the jimping is going on, uh, that is going on is, uh, uh, it's quite functional. It's uh, a little bit too much spacing going on in between uh, these grooves. I really like this divot over here because you have basically here a finger choil, so you can choke it up like that and it's a recessed area like here so you don't risk to cut yourself here. So this is the finger choil and this is kind of like, sorry, sharpening choil and this is gonna act as a finger choil. So you're gonna, you want to put your finger here, maybe not here. So like that and you use, uh, take advantage of the thumb ramp over here with the jimping like this or more advanced position like that you choke it up and put the thumb over here and boom and you go. Uh, look at this wedge, really nice directional satin going on which matches this bevel here which is, has a beautiful, beautifully done hollow grind over here all belly and kind of like a recurve area over here up to the plunge grind, satin direction this way, satin direction this way. I like it, nice contrast, very very cool. Uh, we are lacking a little bit of chamfering going on over here, there's some jimping um, which is good for the action because you basically push button like that and you are good to go. Uh, you also have a spidey hole so you can just Spidey flick it like that, uh, really also lacking a little bit of chamfering going on over here. The steel is S35V, so it's all right, I mean S30V, sorry, uh, so it's not uh, high-end steel, but it's uh, still, it's a good one. Uh, the edge uh, symmetry is, uh, it's pretty spot on, I have to say, it widens a little bit at the tip but it's still acceptable. You have of course some billboarding going on over here, the Spyderco logo and over there like the factory in Taichung, Taiwan and the Peter Carey logo uh, nicely etched I have to say on the blade. So there's quite some billboarding going on but overall it's yeah it's not too crazy, I've seen worse. Uh, the sound this guy makes it's a little bit anonymous, it's uh, N nothing to write home about. It's a, I mean, yeah, it's a nice click. If you close it, 
it's a nice clack so but nothing uh, unique nothing distinctive so i mean it's good but yeah average uh for what concerns the feeling uh in the pocket this guy is gonna weigh in at 4.2 ounces so it's all right it's not too bad uh, but the uh the good part is the grip so really really good grip like that but choking up it's it feels very very nice you can actually see put the middle finger here and just use it like this and it's gonna feel pretty good i have to say a minimal hotspot created by the clip uh, uh, ramp over here not too crazy but it's there um it's uh it's overall it it feels good in the hand you have this uh a very very sharp area here which is gonna help like creating some uh, friction here so it's not gonna go anywhere and you can use the thumb ramp to have a secure grip and overall it's gonna feel pretty solid in the hand no flex uh, there's no blade play it's it's nicely built guys I have to say it's solidly built uh, what I can't really go past is the let's say that this like lock bar here it's very it's very difficult for me i need to use two hands uh, to uh, close the the knife basically so deployment speed is all right uh, the detent is very weak so i can do easily like this you see like very very weak i mean easily uh, fails if you don't do the push button like so or if you do you can actually catch like here and do a light switch which is gonna improve the speed of the overall deployment but you can easily misfire just like this and there's no lock bar here so i mean i'm not pressing the lock bar it's just very very weak detent um so uh beside that and the detent uh, it's it overall feels pre quite smooth uh it's running on bearings but the action is not stellar i mean uh it's you see there's if i am able it drops uh if free there's free fall as soon as you disengage the lock bar but then you have a hard step so there's no detent ball ramp and then you have to wiggle pretty vigorously in order for your blade to shut uh, close so i mean overall it's a it's a good knife uh it's probably too expensive for what it is it has a very nice scales very very nicely done the blade is beautifully grinded has a nice flair to it i can't go past this issue over here of the lock bar and uh and the the weak detent uh, and i mean the sound is it's not that good uh, but it's all right and the grip is it's pretty good uh, but except those two flaws i have to say this is a that's a pretty decent knife so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and stay tuned